delay write downs of non current assets deteriorating industry or from economic conditions can affect the value of non current assets as well as current assets when the fair value of non assets falls below its book value the asset is impaired Firms are required to recognize impairments in the values of non-current assets when they arise. However, since second-hand markets for non-current assets are typically liquid and incomplete, estimates of asset valuation and impairment are inherently subjective. On November 18, 2008, ECJ's non-executive director and primary shareholder Stelios Haji Loano issued a press release stating that he could not approve ECJ's 2008 financial statement for several reasons. The airline was trying to sell the seven aircraft but experienced some difficult some difficulty finding potential buyers during the economic downturn. On November 20, 2008 ACJ announced however that it had been a be- that it had been able to sell two aircraft for a price that was in line with management's prior expectation delay write downs of current assets if current assets become impaired that is their book values fall below their real- realizable values accounting rules generally require that they be written down to their fair values current asset impairments also affect earnings since write off are charged directly to earnings warning signs for delay in current asset write downs including growing days inventory and days receivable write downs by competitors and business downturns for a firm's major customers Manager potentially have an incentive to overstate current asset write downs during years of exceptionally strong performance or when the firm is financially distressed. Overstate current assets write downs can also arise when manager are less optimistic about the firm's future pro- prospect than the analyst. Allowance. Manager make estimate of expected customer default on trade receivables and loans if manager underestimate the value of this allowance assets and earnings will be overstated if manager over if manager overestimate allowance for debt full account or loan losses trade receivables and loan will be understand Unfortunately, not all firms that report under IFRS separately disclose the allowance for doubtful accounts or inventory obsolescence. This makes it sometimes difficult for the analyst to identify the overstatement or understatement of allowance. Understand, our understand, allowance are also a point of attention when analyzing the financial statement of loss making firms when a firm report a loss it in its tax statements it does not receive an immediate tax refund but becomes the holder of a claim against the tax authorities call a tax loss carry forward which can be offset against future taxable profit Recognition of liabilities. Liabilities are defined as economic obligations arising from benefits received in the past, and for which the amount and timing is known with reasonable certainty. Liabilities include obligations to customers that have paid in advance for products or service, commitments to public and private providers of debt financing, obligation to federal and local government for tax. commitments to employees for unpaid wage and post employment benefits and obligation from court or government fines or environmental clean up orders distortions in liabilities generally arise because there is ambiguity about whether first an obligation has really been incurred and or second the obligation can be measured has an obligation been incurred For most liabilities, there is a little ambiguity about whether an obligation has been incurred. 
For example, when a firm pays supplies on credit, it has incurred an obligation to the supplier. However, for some transactions, it is more difficult to decide whether there is any such obligation. Can the obligation be measured? Many liabilities specify the amount and timing of obligation precisely. A firm that is responsible for an environmental cleanup clearly has incurred an obligation, but the amount is highly uncertain. Similarly, firms that provide post-employment benefit for employees have incurred commitments that depend on uncertain future events such as employee mortality rates and on future inflation rates, making valuation of the obligation subjective. Accounting rules frequently specify when a commitment has been incurred and how to measure the, ma- the amount of the commitment. And as a result, analyze, anal- analysis of liabilities is usually with an eye to assessing whether the firm's financial commitments and risks are an- understand and or it is earning overstead okay like uh, my partner say when we to analyze in financial statement we should to know is there any distortion and i will explain about liability distortion liabilities are likely to be understated when the firm has a commitment that are difficult to value and therefore not consider liabilities for financial reporting purpose. Understandments are also likely to occur when managers have strong incentive to overstate the soundness of the firm's financial position or to push reported earnings. Accounting analysis involves judging whether a manager have understated liabilities and, if necessary, adjusting the balance sheet and income statement accordingly. The most common forms of liability understatement arise when the following conditions exist. First, unearned revenues are understated through aggressive revenue resignation. Second, provisions are understated. Third, Non-current liabilities for leases are of balance sheet, and the last is post-employment obligations, such as pension obligations, are not fully recorded. First is unearned revenues understated. If cash has already been received, but the product or service has yet to be provided, a liability called unearned or deferred revenue is created. This liability reflects the company commitment to provide the service or product to the customer and is extinguished once that is accomplished. Second is provision understated. Example of such uncertain liabilities are liabilities that arise from obligation to clean up pollute production site or to provide warranty coverage for product sorts. International accounting rule prescribe that a firm recognize a provision or non-financial liability on its balance sheet for such uncertain liability when first it is probable that the obligation will lead to a future outflow of cash, second, the firm has no or little discretion to avoid the obligation, and the last is the firm can make a reliable estimate of amount of the obligation. Next is non-current liability for leases are of balance sheet. K lease asset and liability can be excluded from the balance sheet if the company structure lease transaction to fit the accounting definition of an operation lease. And the last is post-employment benefit obligation understated. Many firms make commitment to provide pension benefit and other post-employment benefits such as health care to their employees. This obligation is offset by any assets that the firm has committed to post-employment plans to fund future plan benefits. The, fi- the funds set aside in the post-employment plan are greater or less than the plan commitments. 
The plant is over phones or under fund. Each year, the firm's post-employment obligations are adjusted to reflect the following factor. First, current service cost. The fin benefit plan typically provides higher benefit for its additional year of service with the company. Second is interest cost. The passage of time increases the present value of the firm's obligation. And next is actuarial gains or losses. Each year, the actuarial assumption used to estimate the firm's commitment are reviewed and, if appropriate, changes are made. Next is past service costs. Occasionally, companies may decide to amend their post-employment plans. Five is benefit paid. The plan commitment are reduced as the plan makes payment to retire each year and the other the post employment obligation can change because of change in foreign exchange rate plan cartel alignment and plan settlements next distortion is equity distortion accounting treats stockholder equity as a residual claim on the firm's asset after paying off the other claim holders consequently Equity distortion arises primarily from distortion is in assets and liability. Counting and claims. A stock option gives the holder the right to purchase a certain number of shares at a predetermined, predetermined price, called the exercise or strike price, for a specified period of time, term the exercise period. Recycling of gain on losses. In accordance with the International Accounting Rules on the Measurement of Financial Instruments, IAS 39, firms typically record security held available for sale at fair value and include any unrealized fair value gains or losses directly in the statement of comprehensive income. As a result, Gains and losses that were previously included in comprehensive income statement of comprehensive income are recycled and re-included in the net profit. The analyst can, however, use the information from the statement of comprehensive income to incorporate unrealized gains and losses of financial instrument held available for sale in profit and undo the financial statement from any distortion caused by a firm's directionary timing of security sales. That's all of our presentation. Thank you. Wassalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh.